Good morning guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing well. So I'm getting ready for the morning um, and I have some requests from you guys film a get ready with me so I will, I love doing get ready with me. I have a eye uh, patch and this is from Sephora and it's the caffeine eye mask. I try to take care of my under eye as much as I can and this has been in on probably half an hour here. Yeah, so... That's that. I'm just gonna wait for it, for it to dry up a little bit. And then we'll start with the makeup. I usually start with a primer, which uh, the one that I've been using is the Revlon Pore Poro Ready. If you guys are wondering why I'm looking in this corner, because this is where my mirror is. Oh, my under eye feels cold. And then I'm gonna use the circle corrector from NYX. I'm just gonna use my finger. This has a peachy tone. Elf sponge. Then my favorite um, concealer is the Calmo Concealer. The hydrating one in medium peach. So did I mention guys I already have my skincare. If you want to see my skincare routine in the morning let me know and I will gladly film it for you guys. It's very straightforward but I do um make sure i take care of my skin because you know aging wise it helps and then i will spot conceal with my elf um comma concealer this is the original one and i use um medium sand so this actually matches my skin tone perfectly Then for my foundation, I have the Bobbi Brown um, Stick Foundation. This is, I'm on the shade Warm Beige. I like this because it's like giving, like, it doesn't look like, it's not makeup y. The brush that I'm using is the Sigma um, Angle. Kabuki brush. So whatever is left on my brush, I just go back, go to my neck. So it's a perfect uh, skin color for me. So I don't really worry about my neck. I don't like putting foundation on my neck because uh, I wear a lot of whites. So I don't like it transferring to my jacket or my sweater or my t-shirt so that's why I love this because it's a perfect match for my skin tone so I don't have to worry about the line so guys that is my complexion with that stick foundation it's a medium coverage guys and the staying power is not that good but I don't really like um Full coverage foundation because I don't like to look makeup -y. Then I go on my sponge making sure that everything is well blended. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my um, stick bronzer. And it's the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer. And I'm in the shade toffee this is not my favorite but i didn't i don't like wasting a product so i'd use i use it 
and it, I can make it work. My double chin. I'll just use the same brush. I would go with a blush so my favorite blush is the Stila one this one but um, in Peony this is a convertible color you can use it on your lips but I'm not using that today I'm gonna use I've been trying this Milani chick kiss and this is Rose Romance 140 this is pretty dark but I have dark skin so um, I think this is the second time so I usually just put it in my hands little dab little uh dab of this comes a long way so and then i would tap it like that and then i actually don't like using my finger and then, so i'm just gonna put it on my brush this is a stipple brush from japanese and then i would smile and take it apples of my cheeks I love blush guys this is a step that I won't really skip even if I'm doing natural one I put blush so that's with the blush the alginist um Lumine luminizing drops so this is actually you can mix with your liquid foundation i like using this as a highlighter so i'm gonna just put it again on my skin here high points of my cheeks my nose And then I will blend it in with my same stipple brush that I use for the blush. It just gives me a subtle glow. I don't think you can tell, but it does give me when it hits the light. Now I want to set everything that I just did multitasking palette from Benefit and it has all their iconic um, iconic uh, bronzer blush but this is like I have the dark skin tone so this doesn't show up in my skin very good and then there's this uh, blush thing and then this cookie this looks so intense but when you put it in your skin very lightly it looks really good so I'm gonna um, set my bronzer um, my blush and my highlighter mix it up you don't want it to move for my highlighter I'm gonna use my fun brush just a little bit very little And then, for my um, bronzer, I'm just going to use this Hula bronzer. This actually, this brush is actually good for contouring, but we don't want to be precise. It's just, I would use this um, complexion brush from e.l.f. I love e.l.f. brushes, guys. If you want to start with your makeup, e.l.f. brushes is a good way to start because it is very affordable and it's very good. So I like using cream 
and setting it with the powder. That's how I like it. Oh, so I'm gonna essence brighten up. This is banana bright. I broke it and I hit pan. Okay, so and I'm just using this uh, real technique, very lightly. it that's all i'm doing i don't want a cakey um face and then i would go in with my it's the light one because for some reason the medium to the light to medium is too dark for me up my to set my whole face i love this so just setting it up with the whole thing pretty much blurring out everything that's all i'm doing very lightly that's it uh, and then my next step would be my Mario Bidesco to set up everything. So I spray a generous amount of that. Then I have my fan. Then I go back with my sponge very lightly so I don't take away anything. So that's it for the complexion. Now I'm gonna go with my eyebrows, brow pencil, and this is a uh, dark brown. It's never the same, but I think I'm happy with that. Then I will set it with my e.l.f. brow gel, wow brow it's called, and this is in the shade dark brown too. Then I always use this uh, Wet n Wild um, highlighter pen, pencil, just to highlight that. This is matte, so it doesn't really give shine. I don't know. I used to like putting a um, highlighter on my eyebrow, but for every day, I don't think I don't like it on an everyday basis. I feel like it's too much for me. And then we'll use my elf, this little, I forgot what's it called. It's the little elf thing that's $3 too, because I like using the cream and sugar. I like using this to um, put all over my lid, but I like the this other color for all over. Yeah. So with this one, this is like $3, guys. Check it out. Have you guys seen the blush and the highlighter duo? I've been seeing it on YouTube, but it's not available in store at the moment yet. Here in Calgary, in Canada, we don't have it yet. We're always behind with all these new launches for makeup. So unless I go to the ELF website, but then I have to spend like $50 to get free shipping. So... Now I'm going to do the very bad here and I'm just using I'm using the same brush. This is a this is the profusion brush and so I'm using the same thing and I'm just going to use this um this one all over my lid. I'm not sure exactly what the shade is. I'm just going to do it all over my lid. I usually sometimes just use my bronzer, whatever bronzer I'm using, to put on my lid. I love this. Mm. 
very subtle. Oops. And then I have this Luxie brush. It's very tiny brush to go on my outer B. And I would use this dark one, the darkest one, very lightly. Very lightly, guys, on my outer V. Just to give me a definition on my eye. You see that? Then I will go back to this brush so I can disperse it, blend it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of from the cream and sugar one. I'm gonna use this gold sparkle a little bit using my finger just to top it on my lid. A little bit. See? Very subtle. I'm not good at this, but I think I can. So that's it. That's all I'm doing with my eyes. And then I will go back to this blending brush, just making sure it's all blended up. This little palette, guys, is very cheap, but it's very good. I don't even get pull out on this one. Yeah, so almost done, guys. I'm not doing eyeliner or anything, but I always like to do my waterline here. Just to open up my eyes. Very light. And then I would go back with this brush, whatever is left over here, pinch it, and go underneath my eye. Now, mascara time. So for my mascara, I use these two combinations. So my primer, the Laurier Volumize, Laurier Volumizing Primer. I need a new one, it's getting dry. And then my Bambi Eye Mascara, the best mascara ever, ever, ever. Oh, yeah. I, I wanna try this primer with, this primer with my, one of my favorite, um, Mascara too from Essence because that does transfer, but it takes a long time. It's probably after six hours, you'll see uh, starts to transfer underneath your eye. But I think I want it. But it makes beautiful. It gives me a beautiful lashes. my lips but, um that's if um uh, the nordstrom anniversary sale <music> guys that's it for this uh get ready with me my hair is still wet i just put the hair oil so this is the hair oil that I use it's the Lucetta Marula oil I got used two pumps and spread it in the ends while it's wet so that's it guys that's it for the get ready with me I'm gonna do my hair um I'm, I won't blow dry it because my husband's still sleeping yeah so but this is the complexion and I have to clean that up but that's how very simple that's how I achieve my flawless um, uh, makeup. Blend, blend, blend is the secret. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. 
uh, and follow me on Instagram. I usually uh, post my bag of the day there, my outfit of the day, and I will link it down below. And for all my friends that hang out with me, thank you guys uh, for hanging out with me. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!